Thanks for joining me. Thank you for joining me on my morning prayer walk. 50 days of strength. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Oh, bless you. Thank you for joining me. Walking through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Well, how do you stay out of the valley of death? That's a very good question. A very important question. I love to hike up by Squaw Valley, and every year it seems that there are tragedies at Squaw Valley. Number one reason for fatalities is people don't stay in bounds. There are avalanches in the wintertime and skiers that go out of bounds or snowshoers that go out of bounds, they get themselves in a lot of trouble. They expose themselves to danger. How to stay out of the valley of the shadow of death? Well, one way is to learn to follow the shepherd and stay in bounds. Read the signs, listen to them and respond positively. We just did the Ten Commandments and half of the commandments are about staying in bounds. Thou shall not kill, which means to be angry or mad, bitter, unforgiven. Thou shall not kill, thou shall not commit adultery. Lust can get a lot of people in a lot of trouble. How to stay out of the valley of the shadow. There are ways that when we follow, they help us avoid the shadow of death. Don't kill anybody. Don't commit adultery. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't covet. Read the signs and follow the directions. Don't go where you're not supposed to go. Stay in bounds. What about fear? Well, the reality is we all can do everything right and still wind up in the valley of the shadow. In fact, in this passage of scripture, it actually speaks that going through the valley is inevitable. It's something that happens and trouble comes our way. But here's the key, how to deal with fear. One real positive way to deal with fear is don't ever walk alone. Don't ever walk alone. You expose yourself to unnecessary risks and danger when you walk alone. I'm here in the cemetery walking through today and don't often come over here, but sometimes I just enjoy being here. There's a lot of pain and sorrow in a cemetery, but those that find strength do so in support of one another. Don't walk alone. It'll help you deal with fear. Now the reality is 40% of all Americans are living alone. And of the other 60%, 80% of those feel like they are alone. That's a whole lot of people. The key is in not being alone is in ministry and in faith, you have a family. You have friends that are believers they will encourage you and you can encourage others. That's so very, very important when it comes to dealing with fear. Don't be alone. Reach out to your brother and sister in faith. Reach out to those in the ministry. Allow them to help strengthen, pray with, and encourage you. The greatest way to deal with fear 
is walk with the shepherd. That's right. In fact, that's really what Psalms 23, this verse is all about. It's walking with the shepherd. Yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You cannot always avoid the valley of the shadow of death, but you can make the decision to walk with the shepherd. Oh, praise God, you're walking with the shepherd today. I'm so grateful that you are. And I am praying for you that the Lord would bless you today. And as I walk through this cemetery, I think of the valley of the shadow of death. And I rejoice that we will never walk alone. Remember Psalms 23 and what it says. Yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Oh, praise God. God loves you and so do I. I'll be praying for you this morning, for you and your family. God loves you and so do I. You, you be blessed today. Be blessed today. Let his face shine upon you and his grace go before you and his peace stay within you.